Hey buddy. Hello. Here we are. About to start our truck. <clears throat> so far so good. This is a momentous trip. For a whole bunch of reasons. This is the year of the, uh, the COVID-19 virus. It's been tough on everybody for months now. Um, my dad and Brendan's granddad passed just last week. It's an important trip for a lot of reasons. It's been a long drive. We're just headed into the bush right now. Lots of bugs. It's rainy and 18 Celsius right now. It was mid-20s yesterday. The bugs are out in full force. So we've got lots of bug repellent. Uh, Thermocell we didn't bring. I think I'm regretting that already. Time will tell. Well, we made it. Bren, what time did we start that ordeal? Like, like 10, 10.30? 10, 10, 10.30. It's uh, just checked. Actually, the watch is 6.30 p.m. And I think both of us agreed uh, like that was probably the worst portage yeah, ever. It was really bad. Just for whatever reason, it was just awful. It's raining. Actually, the bugs are horrible. All day, relentless, relentless rain. Yeah. And and not cold, but just brutal, brutal black flies and mosquitoes. I got stuck in a mud pit twice. Oh, yeah. I didn't get a picture twice. of that. He fell in a mud pit, a pit of mud. I got out, and then I stepped back in it. I know. I it was so epic. Actually, that was the, the high point of the day. It was quite funny. But not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, memories for the rocking chair. All right, we have uh, at least two, two and a half hours of light left, but the number one priority right now is actually to find a camp, set up camp somewhere, get the tarp up, get going. So yeah. let's do it. Hey, it's our first full day. We made it in last night after a grueling, grueling day in the rain, okay. tough right. day in the bugs. It's uh, about 16, 17 degrees Celsius. The black flies are out, but they're not really biting yet. Hopefully the fish are biting. Yeah. We, uh, we're about to start. We've got a, a few different things rigged up here. Um, we've got the fly rods rigged up with um, Rio Versaliter. I believe, to be precise, 5.6 inch per second sink rate sinking leaders and then a, a little short section of tippet and Brendan has like a little cone head muddler on and I've got like a little leech pattern on a sort of a black leech pattern three spinning rods rigged up we're gonna try different things to start with that's a pretty funky colored weaver grabber which is my favorite brook trout spoon this particular one is copper on the back that was at a personal request to me that he made those up with copper Thank you very much. I'm sure they're going to work. And then uh, Williams Ridgeback, gold and orange on this rod. And then the Live Target Dace. It's like a little suspending uh, jerk bait on this rod. And Brendan has uh, more or less the same stuff. Yeah, he's exactly got the same thing. Yeah, Ridgeback and Weaver Grabber, hun. He's got two spinning rods. So here we go. The. Uh, 2020 COVID-19 Brook Trout Quest in memory of my dad who passed last week. It's a momentous trip. Hopefully the fish are biting. We worked our way around the lake and really not a whole lot to show for it. We're about an hour, maybe 40 minutes in and uh, Bren hooked up with the first one. I actually had one on. Whoops. I can hand you the net. If you want, so this is definitely a spot. I I had we almost had a double here, and uh, Bren, not surprisingly, on the um, the Weaver Grabber, this the gold-backed one. Nice fat. It's not a gigantic fish, but hey, speckled trout. It's a start. Yeah. Nice little oh, fish. Little nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. I think. Close. I think. I guarantee you. If we just sit here and cast out, there's a drop off. Yeah. It's all super and shallow and rocky right here, but just out a little bit, it drops right off. And uh, 
There's definitely more than one fish here. Next cast ever after. Which Next cast. Here? Actually, in between, I caught one that was about 14 inches. A little better one. That's a little better, yeah. Nice speckled trout. Nice one. It's not uh, humongous, but uh, boy, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of fish in this lake. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks like it's about. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to put the tape on it, but that one looks like it's about fi maybe 15 inches. Yeah. Another nice little fatty. Oh, yeah. Now way to go. Little male here. Yeah. The nice thing about this now is the rain stopped. Yesterday was torrential rain the whole day in. And uh, it's just a little breezy and cloudy and there's no bugs. We're, we're pretty much, I think, into June already here. I think it's June 1st. Yeah. I'm not sure. It, they're not bad at all. Like, really not bad. Well, next cast after you turn the camera off, Double header. A double header. I got one on the ridge back. Nice little fatty. Got one on the weaver grabber. Brendan's got one on the weaver grabber. Oh, what a spot this is. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yep. Beauty. They're not small, but they're not big either. No. Just We're looking for another year class, and we'll find them. Awesome. So I'm just gonna haul them right in. Actually, that's a pretty fat one. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad. Beauty. Yep, not bad. Um, I'm using these. I look at my fingers. <laughs> That's actually a cramp. My <laughs> fingers are cramped together. It's like they were stuck together with crazy glue. <laughs> Yesterday on the trail end, Brenda's laughing. I was dying last night in the cabin. Literally, it felt like someone was sticking a steak knife into my legs, like after I uh, crawled in my sleeping bag. <laughs> Magnesium citrate powder. It was uh, I was eating. I was taking that last night. Bad cramping. But anyway, these I have three different uh, Saint Croix trout series rods. This is actually, and they're all um, like rated for four to eight pound test. There's an ultralight there that's rated for four. To, I think four to six. Seven footer, six foot four inch, and then like a five and a half uh, foot. They're fantastic rods. Love them. Yeah. Beauty. Brendan, actually, I'm just going to say this publicly, doesn't like them because he doesn't like the handle, but I do. So he's using yeah. an Avid. He's got an Avid series, an old school Avid series rod, and then uh, another old ultralight that I gave Bren. I've had it for I didn't, uh, probably 30 years. It's an old Fenwick World Class. He's caught so many big brook trout on that, oh, yeah. eh, buddy? <laughs> yeah, it bends like a noodle. It's super a noodle fun rod. to fish with. He loves it. Another quality fish. The sun broke out through the clouds. We actually just stopped for a little lunch break. And, um, yeah. I'm going to be full disclosure, okay? I have to say this. I hooked the fish, I fought it, and then I'm like... The angle of the sun's wrong, so I'm going to pass the rod to you. So, Bren's really in my fish. I just want to. I just want to let that be known. Net or? Uh, just do whatever you want with it. That's a nice little fatty. That's on a on a brand new color of weaver grabber. Really interesting color. One of the copper backed ones. So far, no true giants, but we've got, uh, you might want to grab the net actually. Yeah. All, a good number of quality fish like this. Very nice. 
That's a fatty, yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Biggest one off the trip. Yeah, well, we got another one. I had one on back there. I know. Uh -oh. oh, did. You might. There, just. <laughs> that's epic. I, uh, I got the forceps right here. Nice catch. Yeah, just hold the fish in the water for a second. I'll get a, you know what, I'll get a picture of that one. Yeah. Very good, we're on to something here. Yes, indeed. I had this guy hit by you a couple of times ago. Right that's right, right along this rocky cliff. Which kind of trolled up against the wind, and uh, I had one on, had it hit, had it hit like three or four times, and I had it on, and then we drifted back. Brendan casted, and bam! We're just working our way slowly around the shoreline, trolling, casting, but basically working, just working the shoreline. Be nice to have a depth finder, but it's we don't have one, and we don't usually do uh, for spring brook trout fishing. Mainly because trips are so darn, the lakes are so darn hard to access, so, and it's uh, more of a visual thing when we're fishing for these fish in the spring. That's a nice fat one. <laughs> That's a rubber nesh, uh, mesh nut, so it um, keeps the fish, uh, it's a great nut for uh, not harming the fish. There, beauty. Yeah, nice colors on this. Guy. Can't really see it. Yeah, no, that's a nice one. Good job. Oh yeah. All right. Brendan and I are. We found a spot. I think we just caught six in a row in yeah, this. Six or seven fish. In this one little spot here. I'm just filming Bren now. Just got a double header. Just yeah, I just had one on a second ago. Oh. Dad's fish. Uh, they're not being documented, but that's okay. We're having fun. Oh yeah. We're looking for the uh, the bigger fish, but man, that I'm not complaining. They're so abundant. It's just unbelievable. All quite similar in size. We're hoping tonight, boy, oh boy, I hope tonight we have uh, a hatch. I'm really hoping to get some on the dry. Yeah, they're all very similar. Another nice one. There well it done. Let's get the let's get the hook out. Get the forceps. And just twist them off in the water. There we go. On to the next one. <clears throat> Bren Bren's flipping out. He's got an. This is one of the very first, very few brook trout he's caught casting, casting a fly one ever at, casting a at the shore. This is so cool. It's raining, not really much wind, but it's raining. <clears throat> Just a dreary day. Uh, but we're in this little pocket here, this little corner. There's a river outlet. The fish are just teeming. I, I caught three or four. Brendan got a couple on the spoon, and then this is the spot to try the fly rod. That's actually not a bad one. Not yeah, that's a good one. He just casted it. We drifted into shore now, but he was just casting into shore here. Just let it sink down. And uh, I got a sinking 5.6 inch uh, sinking leader. With about a with about a foot and a half of I think ten pound fluorocarbon on the end of it, and uh, let it sink and then strip 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 bang. There really was no reaction from you there. You're like a cyborg. You you don't get excited. You're just like a machine, honestly. Like no excitement whatsoever. Nice job. That's a beauty. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Awesome on the fly. And the fly just popped out. That fly is tied with a, um, it's actually a steelhead fly. It's got a tiny single octopus hook on like a little um, 
trailer at the back end of it. Very nice, solid little, fish. Little That's high. a momentous fish. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's early morning right in front of our camp. I was just drinking my coffee. Bren grabbed his fly rod. I'm thinking he might hook one because a couple of fish boiled super close to shore. I'd probably move down the shore like 10 feet and you're not quite in the zone, I don't think, but you're getting good with the casting, bud. Oh, that's as far. I don't know why I can't go any further. No, it's good. Ben really just started fly fishing. I got him the fly rod, uh, his first fly rod, a couple years ago, but um, it's still all fairly new to him. <clears throat> Doing quite well. Got a nice one on the fly yesterday. That was fun. What do you have on for a fly? Oh, it's a conehead muddler. Conehead muddler. You caught on the bush there with your fly line. See if you can get it out in that direction, bud. Like out that way. Yeah. Next cast. It's chilly this morning. I don't have a thermometer, but I'm guessing it's got to be about maybe 6 Celsius, maybe. Yeah, I think if you threw a spoon out there, you'd probably get one, <laughs> honestly. It's a good attempt, though. You're casting good. We got out on the hour, or sorry, we got out on the water about an hour ago. Mega cold front, eh, Bren? Yeah, it's pretty cold. Like probably four Celsius, and um, there's some intermittent light drizzle. We just worked our way around the corner from camp, and uh, Bren got one. I actually had one. The the thing, the thing that's interesting about these trout is they're not they're spread out all over the lake, but in little pods. And when you get one, it seems like you'll get six or seven in a row. This one hit right beside the boat. Yeah. Right beside the yeah, it followed it right in. Cool. Still no giants, but hey. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. Beauty. Yeah. Right on. I think tonight, most likely, we're probably going to eat a couple of trout, too. Seconds later, my turn. This is a little five and a half foot... Uh, Trout, uh, St. Croix Trout Series rod. It's a fun little rod. Oh, that's a nice one. This is like a cut. That's on the custom colored uh, weaver grabber that I love so much. Maybe the biggest one yet. Uh, the biggest one of the trip, I well, think. I mean, that's not saying much yet, but I know. It's, it's, it's not fat. a bad one. Yeah, it's a fat one. Holy cow. You gotta be careful with this guy. Actually, we might eat this one anyway, so it's. Um, Good one. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Beauty. Same spot. I just roped up the one uh, I just caught seconds ago. And uh, it's a it's a little one. It's a little one, yeah. It's decent. We found a nice a nice little corner here. Oh, the German weaver grabber. The German weaver grabber. Yeah, it's a nice little spot here. There's a river outlet here. That's right around where those log where those log jams are back there. There's a an outlet. And right in this little bay. I think I'm just gonna try. You want you want the nut? You can see Brendan's wearing full fingered gloves. That's how chilly it is this morning. Very nice. Actually, that one is a little bigger than what you thought it was, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. But uh, if you want, we can rope that one up and be done with our uh, fish killing for the day. Sure. We're going to have a feast this evening. 
That one's a little skinnier, but nice. Very nice. Yep. Beauty. Yep, not bad. Not bad. Is that a beaver? Wildlife. No, it's not a beaver. It's like a bullfrog or something right behind Brenda. <laughs> Like literally right beside you. I want to see if I can. <laughs> Where is it? I can't find it. Okay, we're still on day two here. We took a little break and uh, had some lunch. Chilled out for a bit. The wind is. If you just look at this little rod, it looks like I have a five pound fish on, but I don't think I do. There's a bouldery point right behind us there. Brendan got hit a couple times. I had missed another one, and then I caught, I caught this one. The, uh, the sun is peeking out just now and again through the clouds for the first time since we've been in here, and I really think it's going to help a lot. They're going to turn on big time. But as expected, this is not a. It's not. That's a, a giant, decent one. It's a decent one. Yeah. So. I'm going to show it later in more detail, but Brendan made this total ghetto uh, minnow trap with a empty pop bottle, and I was laughing at him, put bread in it, and he caught these days. And, I mean, you can't see it. It looks exactly, like literally, with the red belly, like everything, the same size. You see, it's this live target dace is a perfect copy. So, we are going to use that. Actually, that is a, that's a nice one. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Yeah, they're getting bigger. Let's see. I think I'll just net that one. Yeah. I got it right here. Bear with me just for one second. I'm going to pop the hooks out. It's actually a... It's a pretty fat one. A nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's show it for the camera quick and then... Nice. Nice, nice little guy. Yeah. Not bad. Well... We paddled back up. Yeah. The wind is torrential. The anchor that I made with this anchor bag wouldn't hold. Well, this is a nice one. And Bren... Uh, I think has a fairly good one on. I'm gonna try and position the boat. This is it's difficult. Brent, are you hung up on the canoe? I think. Pretty sure you are. Oh, this is very very bad. Oh man, it's it's just so hard to deal with the. Uh, the wind, oh boy. We got a bucket filled with rocks at the front of the boat just to counterbalance uh, my bulk. <laughs> Otherwise, we're blowing around like a leaf. On the water, there's the nut. This lake is, this lake, this lake is full of fish. We haven't had five minutes of good weather since we've been here either. They're, as soon as we get some sunny weather, like, it's going to be crazy. Okay, we have to land the fish and then brace for impact as well. Hold on. We were moving so fast there, and it just, when that fish chomped down, it did nothing. It didn't head shake. It just it was just like weighed. And he, Brian thought it was a stick at first. Let's have a look at that beast. Oh, that's not bad at all. Very nice. At this point, we're not even looking for like prime structure. We're looking for calm pockets. So we paddled over to this little oasis here. It's you can't really tell. It's it's windy out there. Bren made one little cast towards these rocks here. Got another one. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. Just twist it off beside the boat with the forceps. Oh. 
there. Here. Take a cast, like directly ahead of the boat, like directly ahead. Oh, <laughs> that was good. awesome. Huh? I caught your incompetence on camera. It was perfect. <laughs> I'm better than that. Yeah. This bad. The lads got one in the front of the boat. This is a killer spot. You just got like three in a row. Yeah. Right like three casts. That's a better one. Yeah, that's a chunker. Actually, you know, this one's nice enough. It's, I think it's got some nice colors. Beauty. I'll, I'll get a still shot of that one. This is good. We can. We found a good spot and it happens to be a calm oasis too. I'm going to shut the camera off and then just deal with this guy. Get a quick still shot. Awesome. Should get one. Yeah, I just got to back up. Got to re reposition the boat. It's, yeah. not, it's very good. It's our third full day. We finally got a little bit of sun. Um, it's windy, but we're in a protected corner of the lake. We just got here. We just got out. The morning was god awful. Super, super windy. White caps, heavy wind, rain, monsoon rain for a couple hours. We kind of lingered about in camp, had a extended breakfast. Breakfast forceps. And uh, yeah, they're right here. Actually, forceps. Keep those on your coat. So the plan for today is we're going to do a little trek. There's an outlet here. This is a spot where uh, earlier in the video uh, we caught fish, but uh, we're going to follow it down and see what happens. There's a looks like there's some little ponds and there's looks like there's some pools with current and stuff like that downstream from here. There's no real trail, so we're going to be kind of bushwhacking our way through. You're going to have to go around from the other side, probably. You might want to grab the bag and the paddle. <sighs> Beautiful little rapids there. Black flies are out today, too. They're starting to come out. We're just getting the canoe loaded up. Right at the back end there is where we came in around the little set of rapids and it's basically it's a beaver pond. That's it. Yeah, I caught a little one a second ago. Yeah. Paddle up a little further, we'll take a couple more casts. What a just a beautiful day for exploring. We almost made it through and then my fat ass wedged us on the top of the dam. Can I get water from here? Sure, why not? If there's a filter in that bottle. spot. Okay, let's see if we can do that again. This could be a spot for your fly rod. Yeah, it is, I think. I think so. Such a beautiful spot. Oh, oh there it is. Well, finally, first one on camera. It's a little one. A little dinker. Little, little guy. Mm. That should just pop right off. Quick release. Next. 
Yeah. You're gonna get one on this cast, 100%. I'm yeah. calling it. Okay. Slow it down, slow it down. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness I have Brendan here to tell me exactly what to do and what I'm doing. There, wrong. told you. <laughs> Very nice little one. <laughs> Thanks, Brent. I'd be lost without your tips. That's about my favorite size to eat right there, that guy. Yeah. That guy should pop right out. Oh, yeah. Very good. All right. Brendan's turn. Yep. That's too fast. That's too fast. No, it's not. You gotta slow it down. Pause. You have to, you have to pause. Let, her flut, let the spoon flutter. I will. <laughs> That's an awfully fast retrieve. It's not. It's really hey, not. you gotta slow it down. It is slowed down. <laughs> one right up in the current. I'm gonna get a small one right now. Do a little bit of lining down this creek. Trying to avoid a little bushwhack. First time Brendan's done this by himself. This is an easy one. Uh, Ooh, I sure hope there's fish down here. Looks pretty good. Well, shallow. Easy peasy. I just want to go over my boot. Hop in the canoe. Next. Quest for brook trout. Well, we just made it down this uh, little uh, creek here. And I had a jumper. A jumper on. Yeah. First cast. First cast. Brent threw a spoon out. We just lined the canoe down that creek. That feels a little bit better, actually. Yeah, that's a nice chunky one. Might actually be a fly rod spot, I'm not sure. Ooh, that's dangerous. There you go. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Quest for brook trout, yes. There you go. Awesome. Cool. 
can get another one. Yep. Oh, we missed it. Yeah, there was a moose right there. Right there, right at that moose. Oh, man. Giant, giant moose. If I had my good camera with a good lens on and I could have got a wicked picture. The wind wasn't blowing the right way either. That, he smelled us for sure. He's gone. And thus ends our 2020 Brook Trout Quest. The year of the virus and in memory of my dad who just passed. It was a all in all pretty good trip, eh, Bren? Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah we got lots of fish. Um, nothing particularly gigantic, but some really nice ones. Made some good memories. And uh, it was honestly something that I needed to do considering the circumstances so I don't know if the camera will pick it up right there um, that's the start of our flags I flagged my way in here total bush bash pretty serious train not gonna lie um, so this is the start of the trek out it's a nice day today so a nicer day for the way out than the way in but uh, pretty positive that the flies are going to be bad so we're going to have to dope up before we get going and uh, hopefully I can make it without cramping up and dying but I should be okay so we're going to sign off now here's to another great trip until next year right buddy yep yep